I'm going to show you now how to make one of my family's absolute die-hard all-time favourite recipes. It's my take on a pasta carbonara. However, this one's a little bit healthier than the normal one. Fantastic, because you can sneak some veggies in there without them realising. And above all, amazingly tasty. I've got one large clove of garlic that I've dust. I've got a chopped packet of middle bacon. And as you can see, I've trimmed off this much fat just to make it a bit healthier. I've got some grated Parmesan cheese. I've got a can of evaporated light milk. Some good old frozen peas. Packet of spaghetti or pasta of your choice. And I've sliced up a bunch of spring onions. So I'm putting my spaghetti into some nicely boiling water. By the time the pasta's cooked, the sauce will be ready. My pan's nice and hot and I'm actually not going to add any olive oil because that's just extra unnecessary fat at this point. The bacon's still got a little bit of fat on it, that's going to be plenty. So in it goes. My garlic. And the spring onions. And you just want to cook it until the bacon's kind of crispy. Now that the bacon's quite caramelised, in goes the carnation milk. Turn my heat down a little bit. Now one of the good things about using the evaporated light milk is obviously, besides the fact that it's low in fat, is that you don't have the problems with it curdling like you do with cream and sometimes I do that and it splits and then the whole thing's ruined. In go the peas. It just looks so vibrant. And my favourite ingredient next, the grated parmesan. Now it looks like quite a lot of parmesan cheese, except that it's going to be split up into lots of different serves and it'll sort of end up being not a lot per person in the big scheme of things. The cheese is great too because it thickens up the sauce and makes it really oozy and beautiful. Now I know that this is not smell vision and unfortunately you can't get a waft of how amazing this smells, but the kids will smell you <laughs> frying up the bacon and they'll come running from the other end of the house. Now at this stage I like to taste it and just make sure it doesn't need any salt or pepper or anything like that because if it doesn't taste good, no one's going to eat it. Perfect. The pasta to be ready, it's about 13 minutes and this is pretty much halfway there. So by the time this boils away on a simmer and reduces slightly and gets a little bit thicker, our pasta will be ready and we can serve it up straight away. Okay, sauce is cooked, pasta's ready. And what I like to do is just take some pasta and actually add it to the sauce rather than the other way around because that way you can't have too much pasta to sauce ratio. Just sort of work it through the sauce so that it's well coated. And the last bit of pasta in it goes. Oh, can't wait to eat this. Now for the best bit, eating it. Voila, there you have it.